In these questions, we're going to be labeling on either the charge or the electric field produced by a charge. And to do that, we need to know two things. Firstly, that electric field lines always point away from positive charge and towards negative charge. And secondly, that these field lines represent the direction that a positive test charge would move. So let's think about that with this question here. Here we've got all these field lines pointing in towards this particle, and we're trying to figure out what is the charge on the particle. Since the field lines are pointing towards the center, and we know that field lines always point towards negative charge, that means this particle must be negatively charged. The second question asks, what direction would a positive chest test charge move if it were placed in the field? Say we placed the charge here. We know two things. Firstly, we know that the field lines represent the direction a positive test charge would move. So we know it's gonna go in towards the center. However, we also know that positive and negative charges attract. So it makes sense that putting a positive charge here would make it move towards the center, towards the negative charge, since they're attracting. So you can use either of those rules to figure that out. So our answer to this question, which direction would the positive chest charge move? It would move inwards. This question is asking for us to find the same thing. It's asking us to find the charge, this time on some charged plates. So again, we're using our rule that electric field lines point away from positive charge and towards negative charge. Since our field lines here are going to the left, they must be going towards negative charge. So this plate must be negatively charged and away from positive charge. So this plate must be positively charged. And again, what direction would a positive test charge move? Say we placed a positive charge here. We know it's gonna move along the field lines, so it's gonna to go to the left. And again, instead you could think of it as attracting to the left plate because it's negative and the charge is positive, they're opposites, so they attract, so it's gonna to move to the left. Or you can think of it as repelling from the positive charge plate on the right, and again, therefore moving to the left. So we can fill out that last question here. It would move to the left. In this question, we're provided with the particle's charge. Here it has a positive charge, and we have to add on the direction of the field lines. We know field lines point away from positive charge. So since this is positively charged, all our field lines are gonna be pointing away. So this one will be going upwards and away. This one will be going left and away. This one will be going down and away. And this one will be going right and away. And again, a positive test charge will always move in the direction of the field lines. So in this example, it's going to move outwards. The other way to think of that is that the, uh, the particle here is positively charged and the test charge is positively charged. So they're gonna repel and it's gonna want to move away. And in this one, again, we're labeling the electric field lines. We know they point away from positive towards negative. So in this example, they're gonna be all going upwards, away from the positive plate and up towards the negative plate. And for the direction that a positive chest charge would move, again, it moves in the same direction as the field lines. So it's gonna be going upwards. And the other way to think of it is that it's going to be attracted to the opposite charged plate, which is the negative plate up here moving up and repelled from the positively charged plate, the bottom one, again, making it move upwards.